Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna do a book review. I actually finished two books, I think, last week. One of them is Wildfire by Hannah Grace, I believe. Um, and I read this one through my Libby app on my Kindle. And then the other one is the first one in the um, Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garber. So I'm going to do a little review on both of them, um, just because I finished them around the same time. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. So the first one I want to talk about is Wildfire by Hannah Grace. And this one was, I was a little nervous about this one because I did read Icebreaker and it was kind of like um, more of a Wattpad <laughs> a story, I think, um, more than like a published book. But um, anyway, I gave Wildfire a try and I did end up really liking it actually. I think it's a lot better than Icebreaker. This one is uh, set in kind of like, um, like a summer camp type thing and again it's another like hockey player and this girl that he uh, bumps into I guess at like a party um, and they I just really like their dynamic I like their uh, like how they interact with each other how they really like uplift each other uh, it was just really interesting to see like um, these two characters because because it's based on one of the hockey players that doesn't really like talk so much and seeing him talk like with this girl is like really interesting because he has to like work up the nerve to like talk to her like he gives himself like pep talks and stuff it's like it's a really funny um but yeah so i really did enjoy this one a lot more than i thought i was going to but yeah so i would recommend this one i'm not really sure if i would rate it five stars um, I don't really do that very much, but I think this one is like a very good contender for four stars, I think. Um, but yeah, I did really enjoy this one. The other book that I read is Once Upon a Broken Heart, I believe. And this is the first in the that trilogy. Um, so far as a trilogy, I'm not sure if it's going to be more, but I think it's really good so far. I'm on the second book now, um, and it's kind of like a spin-off series of her original series of Caraval, Carval, I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, um, but I really love that series and I like how this author writes um, and so I picked up this one, I've had it on my shelf for I don't know how long um, and I have all the original covers and everything, I know like the paperback and stuff, it's, it's a different cover now, but I have all the original co covers and I really like it. <laughs> So far, um, I really enjoy uh, Jax and <laughs> how he interacts with Evangeline Fox. <laughs> um, and this is like a story that is brought up multiple times about the, the hunter and the fox. And um, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but the second book does like kind of dive into that a little bit more. Um, but I'm only about uh, 150 pages into the second one. Um, but like the thing about this story is it's set in the north and in the north is uh, they they have this thing called the story curse so you don't really know how any of the stories end and they like change depending on um, who reads it and who is telling it and everyone just has like different versions of these different stories and stuff and it's really interesting because um, one of the stories that she really likes is The Hunter and the Fox and uh, her mother would like tell her this story when she was little and she never told her the ending because of this story curse so no one really knows like how it ends. Um, it's really interesting I think. But so she is in the north she ends up marrying the prince um, but like then it all you know it all changes there and again I don't want to like give away too much but I did really enjoy this one. I really love Caraval and um, so far I am enjoying the second book as well and I'm really looking forward to how it all ends, how it all like comes together in the third one. So so if you are wondering if you should read this, I would say go ahead and do it. Um, it's another like YA book though, so I would keep that in mind for um, how these characters act. <laughs> um, very much, very much YA like vibes. Um, there's a lot of stuff about this series in Caraval and like um, when you should read this series like before or after but 
Like, you should read Careful first because that, like, gives all the context that you need to be able to read this series. Like, um, and it was also published first. I don't, I don't really understand, like, sometimes when people, like, say, like, oh, what reading order is this? Like, I understand it with the Sarah J. Moss, um, universe. That's a whole different dinosaur. <laughs> um, but, like, with this stuff, you gotta read it, like, publishing, like, it, publishing first, right? So, Caraval legendary finale th those all come first and then you read once upon a broken heart so so if you're wondering like how like what the reading order is that is the reading order <laughs> um i don't know what else to tell you but um i don't know people have different opinions on that and it, you do what you want but um i say to have like the best context going into it i would read the whole caravel series first and then this one. That will bring us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have read these books before, please let me know in the comments down below. Or if there are any other books you'd like me to do a review on, please let me know as well. Um, I really do enjoy uh, reading, <laughs> as you can see, but um, I enjoy book content, I enjoy books, and I have so many of them. I actually just got um, this thing from Ikea the other day that I am going to fill with all of my Ektar because <laughs> I have two, I believe I have two copies of Ektar. So I have the paperbacks, the hardcovers, and then, oh, I also have the first one in the special edition. So those are all gonna live in there. Um, I don't have them all in there yet because uh, one of my friends is borrowing my uh, Ektar right now, the hardcover, and I don't really wanna mess with it too much. So um, I'm going to wait until she's finished with that before I put the rest of my heart covers in there, but it's really cute. I got this idea from TikTok <laughs> and I haven't really like it decorated it much. Uh, let me know what I should do with it. I had a couple ideas, but um, I like hearing other people and that will give me like more inspiration as well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.